Good morning and welcome to Eagles Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Sally. And I'm Tyler, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, Monday, March 21st. The Apollo track team kicked off their outdoor season this weekend at the Henderson Colonel Classic. The Eagles and Lady Eagles had many top finishes. The top finish on the day for the Lady Eagles was Brooklyn Patterson, second place, long jump finish. Miranda McCormick led the Lady Eagles in scoring, in scoring finishing third in both shot put and the discus. Sammy Roberts also had two top five finishes, finishing third in the half mile and fourth in the mile. The boys had a great day finishing second overall in the field of 10 teams. The Eagles were led by senior Bryson Morris, who finished first, first in both of his individual events, the 200 and 400 meter dashes. Delaware Blanford also had two top three finishes, finishing first in the 110 meter hurdle and third in the 300 meter hurdle. Colby, Colby Wiseman and Jalen Taylor had second place finishes in the two mile and half mile respectively. The Eagles also had three third place finishes. Houston Gore in the triple jump, Brandon Alexander in the 400 meter dash, and Will Scott in the half mile run. The boys also dominated the relays, the relays finishing first in the 4x400, second in the 4x200, and third in the 4x400. The Eagles next meet, next meet is this weekend in Marshall County. Apollo tennis team will have practice after school today at 345. Junior charged and ready for for use during Mission Possible time tomorrow, Tuesday, March 22nd. You will have several items to take care of and will need your fully charged laptop. <laughs> On Saturday, Cole Croom won the state lifting meet in the 235.1 to 256 weight class. Congratulations, Cole. <laughs> I said D A W I N. Today is Rock Out with Your Socks Out for Down Syndrome Awareness, and I'm here with Colin, Lucas, and Tyler, and we're going to talk about what it means whenever somebody has Down Syndrome. Um, whenever an individual has Down Syndrome, that means they have an extra chromosome or an extra partial copy of a chromosome on their 21st chromosome in their DNA. Um, and there are some physical traits that characterize Down Syndrome. Um, some individuals might have low muscle tone. Um, they're a little bit smaller in stature, kind of an upward slant to their eye. But each individual is impacted differently, and um, regardless of how that Down syndrome impacts them, they all have some pretty special abilities and talents. So we're going to showcase something that Colin, Lucas, and Tyler like to do in our classrooms all the time. Attention all winter sport athletes. The Winter Sports Awards Night is this Thursday, March 24th at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. Plans to attend with your parents. If you have any questions, see Miss Misty Berry in the front office. The softball team defeated Webster County 12-2 in their second game on Friday night. Courtney Payne got the win. The Egals were led on the plate by Hadley Humphrey with three hits, and Peyton Blades and Taryn Ferguson each had two doubles, while Presley Bryant and Haley Carter added two singles each. Hayden Pulliam scored four runs with with three walks and a triple, and Brooke Brown also hit, had a hit. In the first game, Apollo defeated Hancock County 3-1. to one. 
Peyton Blades earned the win going all seven innings. Taryn Ferguson had a bases loaded double, driving in all three runs. Peyton Pulliam, Peyton Blades, Haley Carter, Hadley Humphrey, and Brooke Brown all had hits. The Eagles returned to action on Tuesday when they host Catholic. From First Track Weather, this is your latest weather forecast. Here's Dalton Atkins. The 50s return today as we head into the low 50s out there. 52 for here in Owensboro, partly cloudy skies. Winds out of the south southwest today at about 5 miles per hour. Otherwise, they should remain calm today. And then over the next seven days, we're increasing those temperatures up into the middle to upper 50s by midweek. Some rain chances return Thursday as the cold front makes its way through the area. Windy conditions will persist as well. That'll drop us all the way down to the 40s. On Thursday, the high will actually be set Thursday morning. A few rumbles of thunder cannot be ruled out as of now, but still looks to be too low of a chance to actually include that in the forecast. You can see as we head into the weekend, highs head up into the low to middle 60s. Attention senior winter sports athletes. If you turned in photos for the winter sports video, please stop by the library to pick them up. On today's lunch here in the Mama Kitchen line, we will be having Salisbury steak or ribs, baked potato, broccoli, squash, roll, fruit choice, and pudding. In the Global Fair line, Alfredo bar or pizza, broccoli, Caesar salad, breadstick, and pudding. In the sandwich line, a choice of cheeseburger, pork chops, pork chops sandwich, <laughs> chicken, peanut butter and jelly, fries, veggies and dip, baked beans, and pudding. In the sub and salad line, sub bar, chef salad, veggies and dip, and pudding. We'd like to wish all students good luck in their co-curricular activities. Have a great day. <laughs> Good morning, faculty, staff, and students. Uh, hope you had a great weekend and certainly looking forward to a great week here uh, at Apollo. I'm sure uh, this will come to a surprise to you, but we have two weeks till spring break. Uh, that's two full weeks, so we need your best effort. We need your best behavior uh, and always, always doing your best academically. Uh, you know, we're several weeks, we're three and a half weeks into the term at this point. I hope that you have started off very, very well in all your classes. If not, you still have plenty of time turning around. If you have, continue doing what you're doing because uh, you want to keep those good grades. Of course, uh, spring break, as I said, around the corner. I know that's exciting, thinking about being off full week, but you have very important days ahead of you, 10 of them counting today, so let's make sure we make the best of those. I uh, want to go ahead and get the birthdays today. We do have student birthdays. Allie Butterworth, happy birthday. Justin Cravens. Jake Liebold, Jarita McHenry, Jacob Phillips, and Don Ward. So we wish all of those students a very happy birthday. Doesn't look like we have any staff birthdays, so let's uh, make it a great day. Uh, remind you again, be patient and be kind to one another. Always be respectful to one another. Let's have a great day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.